All right, today we're going to uh, go back to TikTok, my favorite place in the world. War. War never changes. And, you know, one of the things that they love to do on TikTok is to complain about uh, work, as if any of them have jobs. But uh, if they do have jobs, then they go to those jobs begrudgingly, uh, and they like to complain about it. I don't like my job, and uh, I don't think I'm going to go anymore. We've talked about this on the show. It's become a whole movement. It, it, it takes on different names. Quiet quitting is one of them. But all these different names they use, really just another, is, these are all terms that really stand for laziness, that they are lazy and they're trying to repackage and rebrand their laziness to make it, uh, I don't know, virtuous or trendy. Sick. So we're going to check out some uh, TikToks from some lazy people, basically, lazy TikToks. Let's start with uh, clip three. Do you ever just sit down and think, wow, humans really have to pay money to stay alive. We have to pay for food. We have to pay for water. We have to pay for shelter. How does that make sense? The universe put us on Earth, a planet that has everything humans need to survive. And yet we've evolved to the point where we have to pay money to stay alive. I don't, I don't understand that. I'm sure you don't understand it. Guys, I just had this thought. Things cost money. <laughs> Did you know that? No way. Way. Wow, dude. Mind blowing. You're, blow I, I, you're blowing my mind right now. I can't even, I, I, I'm disoriented. All those things cost money that you mentioned, right? Right now, uh, food, shelter, clothing. And it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, there, there was a time in human history when that was not the case, when actually you, you wouldn't have paid money per se. There was a time in hu human history when money didn't exist, if you can believe it. You go all the way back to like hunter-gatherer cultures. I'm dying. Help me. And there's no money. But do you know what the other option is then? It's that you have to go out and do all that stuff yourself. Okay? So either you can pay someone to give you food, or you can go out and get the food yourself and grow the food, go into the forest and try to hunt for it. And you know, the other thing on that, on that system is if, if it doesn't work, and you're not able to grow the food, there's a drought, or you go into the forest and you're not able to catch, uh, to, to bag any game, and then you know what happens? You die, and your family dies, and everybody dies. Those are the only two options. There is no third option. So no matter what work is involved, it's just how it's, you can work to make money to then go buy the stuff you need, or you can cut all that out and you can just work yourself to get the stuff. But um, that is not going to be the utopian scenario that you apparently imagine in your head. But of course, this guy on TikTok, he, he doesn't want either of those options. Like, th this is not he's, not, uh, he's not making a pitch for going back to agrarian societies or going all the way back to hunter-gatherer cultures. He's not making a pitch for that. He would hate that. No, what he wants is to do nothing at all and have all that stuff given to him. But what he doesn't mention, or maybe doesn't quite understand himself, and he does understand he doesn't care, is that, well, that would still mean, like, no matter what, work is required to obtain all that stuff. Food, shelter, all the necessities of life, clothing. Someone has to do the work. Because it doesn't just, uh, the universe does not just provide it. Okay, it doesn't make a pizza uh, fall out of the sky right onto your lap. Someone needs to make that happen. The work's going to be done. No, what you want is for someone else to do all the work and for you to pay nothing and to be given it. So what you want is slave. You want slave labor. That's what you're asking for. You want slaves. You know what company's looking out for you when they actually upgrade your service and they don't charge you for it? Pure Talk just added data to every new and existing plan. They're also including a mobile hotspot with each new plan as well, with no price increase whatsoever. If you've considered Pure Talk before, but you haven't made the switch, you need to take a look again. For just $20 a month, you'll get unlimited talk, text, and now 50% more 5G data plus a mobile hotspot. I love Pure Talk. Not only do they offer great services, but they also happen to be veteran-owned and they only only hire the best United States-based customer service team available. Remember, you vote with how you spend your money, so stop supporting woke wireless companies that don't support you. When you go to puretalk.com slash Walsh, you'll save an additional 50% off your first month because they actually value you. That's puretalk.com slash Walsh. Pure Talk, wireless for Americans by Americans. that job. Yeah, I don't know who needs to hear this today, but f that job, okay? I myself am like a professional job quitter because I'll dip, I'll dip. Um, <laughs> so this 
company that I work for that will go unnamed, uh, we had some beef because they scheduled a meeting. My availability, by the way, is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I have kids. I'm a single mother. Okay. Um, I have to get them to school. That's when I can be at work. Anyway, they schedule a meeting. They don't offer a Zoom option. The meeting's an hour away, which will cost me $20 in gas. I will be able to make, after taking my school, my kids to school, I will be able to make about 30 minutes of that meeting, meaning I will get paid $8. They are also not paying me travel time. So I'm spending $20 in gas to go to a meeting to make $8. I'm missing all of that billable time with my clients to go back. I let them know this is a problem for me, right? I'm not going to pay to go to All a right, meeting. shut up. This is so boring. God, gosh. Imagine living with that every day. Those kinds of complaints. Who cares? That's the first thing. It's just boring. It's just telling your, your boring story about some inconvenience that's like, who cares? You had to go and there's a meeting and this. What do you want? What it, do you want? Do you want, you want life to be perfect? Do you want everything to happen perfectly how you want? I only work from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's all I do. I said, I, I, that's, these are the, this is the time that I've decided and I want to make all the money and I want everything to work perfectly. And if it doesn't, I'm going to complain. On my TikTok video, in my car, I'm eating a sandwich for some reason. I'm a single mother anyway. You know, you have to think, well, why are you a single mother? That's another question that's never asked. I mean, look, there are some single mothers that are single mothers because, uh, uh, and they're victims because the dad ran out on them but through no fault of their own. So. There are cases like that, for sure. Um, but I don't think that's the majority of cases. I don't think it's the majority. A lot of these single mothers, they're single mothers because they chose to be. That's what you wanted. You chose this. I'm you chose it either, either because, you know, you decided to be sexually active when you're not married, you ended up with kids, or you decided that you wanted to kick your husband out because you weren't feeling emotionally fulfilled or whatever. Like, that, that's also uh, a lot of times what leads to the single motherhood. But then we, get, then, we, then we hear that. It's like, okay, I've created this problem for myself, and now it's all your problem. And then you go to your job. Well, I, look, I've created this impossible situation in my life, and you have to figure it out. I got news for you. That's not your job. That is not your job's job to figure out how to navigate the obstacles that you have created in your life. You need to figure that out. Why do you continually end up in jobs that you want to quit? Why is that? Well, because you keep quitting and no one's going to hire you. You're not going to get a better job because your employers, you know, this is not a secret, especially when you put it on TikTok, you moron. So your employers can see, oh, look, she's, she, she quits her, all of her jobs after six and a half weeks and brags about it. They're only going to hire you for the kinds of roles where, they're, where, where that kind of turnover rate is acceptable to them. You know, you're just kind of like you're, uh, you're a, a number that they plug in, and then you leave and they plug in somebody else. You're only going to get the kind of jobs that anyone could do. And so your employer knows, okay, you're going to do this for six weeks and you're going to be gone. Fine, we'll find somebody else. But you don't make a lot of money in those jobs because anyone can do them. And so you have almost, almost no value monetarily in the context of that job. But that's your fault because you keep quitting. Today I don't feel like doing anything.